can't take someone's life to the bizarre side of my son. Jalal <laughs> Din! Father, this is the Emir of Bukhara. Greetings to the Sultan of Scholars. Greetings to you, sir. When we were in bulk? Yes, a while ago, I was in bulk. If it weren't for the help of Sayyid Boran and this great son of yours right here, I would not be alive today. I know very well indeed what went on in bulk, brother. What kind of father would not know what his only son is actually up to or doing at the moment? I was aware from a father. Father, then why didn't you say anything? It was Sayyid Boran's decision. He wanted to test whether you can actually keep a secret. I couldn't even have dreamt of having the honor to see you both here. Meeting you and your son Jalal Eddin in this desolate desert has been an honor. But we were very lucky indeed, and the bandits on the other hand were quite unfortunate. The army of Sultan Jalal Eddin Khorazim Shah is camped just a few kilometers from here actually. I will take you to their camping grounds. This way you can meet the man himself and also so you can take back your stolen possessions and see the Sultan. Those who have faith in God, God shows them a way to free themselves. And when you don't expect him to, he grants your wishes in the fullest. If you have absolute faith in God, my friend, nothing can truly go wrong. that lead to the Kaaba. Some use the path from Rome, some others from the Levant, and some of them from Iran, and some from China. And some come from the sea, from India and Yemen. So if you take a look at the roads, there are great differences and endless contradictions. But when you look at the destination, they are actually all the same one. And all lead hearts to the Kaaba. These hearts will have to be pure and filled with love. There is no other way to find the true path. There is great love and affection for the Kaaba. And no room for any differences. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three. Ready. Ready. One. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. A great blessing. Was an honor in meeting the great Jalala V. Ram. The blessing is meeting the Sultan of Scholars. It has been a dream of mine to meet you all my life, but not here, not like this, of course. We are nothing but feathers in a storm. We have no say in what God has planned for us. No say whatsoever. What else do I have but shame, O oh great Sultan of Scholars? When I am unable to bring safety and peace for the people of this land from the title Sultan, the only thing I have that was left for me was the shame of being incapable. You are the last hope of this land, Jalal din Today, all the proud men of this land have the hope of being with you here right now, so they can destroy the bloodthirsty army of the Mongols under your command. Don't speak of your incapability. If there is any incapability, it is merely the result of the doings of those who were in power before you. The throne has always been worthy of only you. I heard your name a lot in Kharazin. I'm so sorry for what my father did to you. The world is a place for tests. And each person reaps the seeds he sows himself. On the day of judgment, the base of the scale is justice. And no one has to answer for things others have done. May I enter, sir? Whatever there was, we return to their owner except this book. real owner of this book. You mean Atar's Book of Secrets? 
Sheikh Farid Adin Atar Nashaburi gave this book to my son, Jalal Adin himself. What belongs to you will eventually return to you. I'm sure Sheikh Attar has seen something in you for him to have given you this book. Come closer, Jalal Adin. <laughs> 